McDonald's changed the way Americans ate. Quick, cheap, and always good. No matter the location. Since its foundation, McDonald's has been conquering every single city in America. Growing like nobody else before. Everybody wanted to be like McDonald's, even copied their products. In 1980, A.W. invented the third of a pound burger, very similar to the quarter pounder I created in 1971. Their burger had more meat and cost the same price. The third of a pounder burger, despite having all the chances of success, was a failure. Why? Let's go back in time. In the early 50s, I graduated from Cornell University. McDonald's was booming, so I secured a job with them. I worked at what they called the Hamburger University, in other words, the McDonald's Training Center. What was I doing there? Well, I was the Vice President of Product Development. It was a dream job. We did everything we wanted to do. I helped create the first frozen fries the signature fish sandwich, hot apple and cherry pies. But I got tired of working so much, so I quit my job and opened a franchise. And then I had an idea. I heard rumors that clients were dissatisfied with our meat options. They wanted something with more meat people wanted a higher ratio of meat to bun. And that's exactly what I did. This is 100% fresh beef. A patty burger with a pre-cooked weight of four ounces. I could have called it the big four-ouncer, but at headquarters they did not like it. I was only 43 years old, and without realizing it, I had just created one of the most famous burgers to ever exist. It went from my two little franchises in Vermont to being included in all restaurants across the globe. But like any good story, there are some setbacks. And competitors. A.W., for example. An American chain created in 1919, long before McDonald's was opened. They decided to give the Quarter Pounder some competition. In the 80s, they introduced the Third of a Pound Burger. It was priced the same as the Quarter Pounder, but with a third of a pound of beef instead of just a quarter pound. It even outperformed the quarter pounder in taste tests, but nobody bought it. Same price, more beef, better taste, but nobody was interested. When a and did focus groups to try and figure out why, the reason was simple. It turns out, people weren't very savvy with fractions. More than half the people in the focus groups questioned the price of the third pounder. They wanted to know why they should have to pay the same price for a third of a pound as they did for a quarter pound at McDonald's. People genuinely thought a third of a pound was less than a quarter pound, because three was less than four. You're ripping us off, said one of them. Why do we know about these focus groups? Because we know everything. I guess this helped our burger succeed. Thank you. Today we are celebrating 50 years of its creation. Double thank you for that. 40 million quarter pounders sold in 2020. Triple thank you. Hope you liked my story. Don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe for more interesting anecdotes you did not know about the food industry. I would love to hire other people to help me edit better videos. The bigger the channel, the bigger the resources to make better videos. So, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. And remember, drink a lot of water. See you soon.